assalamu alaikum and good evening to everyone hope you all are doing well so we are going to discuss one more topic from the animal behavior unit and this topic is related with migration in fishes so we are going to discuss 30 important mcqs for jkpsc lecturer lecturer zoology exam in previous video we have discussed about migration in birds now we will discuss about migration in fishes so let us start this topic the first mcq is migration in fishes means Migration in fishes means options are on your screen and the correct option is option B that is seasonal movement between two habitats. Fish migration is the periodic movement from one habitat to another for breeding, feeding or climatic reasons. Okay. The next question is the fish that migrate from sea to fresh water for breeding is called. Options are on your screen and the correct option is option B that is anadromous. So I have just remembered this point by, in, by a trick that is A, C. A that is anadromous and C means C ocean. Okay. The next question is the fish that migrates from fresh water to sea for breeding purpose is called and the correct option is option A that is catadromous. The next question is example of an anadromous fish is you already know anadromous fishes are those fishes which migrate from sea to fresh water and the, and the example of this is hilsa. We have options and among these options hilsa is the correct option. Okay. The next question is example of a catadromous fish which among the following is a catadromous fish. Options are on your screen and the correct option is eel, angula. Angula is a catadromous fish. The next question is the migration of fish only within fresh water is caught. So migration of fish within fresh water, okay, from fresh water to fresh water, that is river to lake or lake to river is called. It is called poto, potomodromous migration. The next question is the migration of fish within the sea is called and it is called a oceanodromous migration. Question 8 is the Sargasso Sea is famous for the breeding of. The Sargasso Sea is famous for the breeding of eel. The European and American eels stand in the Sargasso Sea in the Atlantic Ocean. Question 9 is the main purpose of fish migration is. So the main purpose of fish migration is options are on your screen and the correct option is option B that is breeding and feeding. Fish migrate mainly for spanning and feeding purposes. The question 10 is the migration of fish influenced by light and temperature is called. So it is called the photothermal migration. Okay, migration influenced by photo period, light and temperature is called photothermal migration. Question eleventh is which fish is famous for it is long distance migration from river to sea. So options are on your screen that is river to sea. It is eel. Eel is famous for it is long distance migration from river to sea. Okay, it uh, it migrates thousands of kilometers to the Sargasso Sea for spanning. Question twelfth is the return journey of young eel from sea to river is called. The return, returning journey is called the elever migration. Okay, young eel is called elevers. Return from Sargasso Sea to rivers after hatch. Question 13th eel. Which structure helps fishes in orientation during migration? Options are lateral line, gills, scales, and swim bladder. It is lateral line. As the lateral line system helps detect water currents, vibration, and direction during migration. Question 14th is which hormone stimulates migration in fishes? Thyroxine, insulin, estrogen, and adrenaline. And the correct option is thyroxine. The next is smoltification in salmon means. Options are on your screen and the correct option is option A that is change from fresh water to seawater stage. So smoltification means change from fresh water to seawater stage. During smoltification, young salmon adopt physiologically for salt water life. Sixteenth question is the term homing instinct in fishes refers to. It refers to returning to the same spawning stage site okay it refers to the returning to the same spanning site so homing instinct is the ability of fish like salmon to return to their birth place after breeding it is called the it is called the homing instinct 17th question is which organ helps fish detect earth's magnetic field options are on your screen and the correct option is ampulla ampullae of lorenzi in sharks and some fishes ampullae of lorenzi detects geomagnetic cue for orientation okay the next question is the migration between sea and fresh water but not for breeding is called so it is migration from sea to fresh water but not the purpose of breeding it is called it is called the amphidromous it is called the amphidromous migration as amphidromous species moves between sea and fresh water for feeding not breeding habitat okay it is called the amphidromous migration which environmental factor affects the fish migration options are light temperature water currents all of the above and the correct option is all of the above as migration depends on temperature light salinity and water flow 20th question is the instinct of migration is mainly is it inherited, learned, accidental, or forced by humans? And the correct option is inherited. Migration in fishes is innate and genetically controlled. Fishes migrating for food are set to perform. Set to perform. Fishes migrating for food are set to perform. Tropic migration, breeding migration, seasonal migration, and nomadic migration. Correct option is tropic migration. A tropic migration occurs when fishes move to seas, move to areas with abundant food. Okay, it is called the tropic migration. Fishes migrating for breeding purpose. Fishes migrating for breeding are set to perform. 
so uh, they are set to perform spanning migration okay and spanning migration for reproduction is termed spanning migration next example of prototromus fish you all know prototromus what prototromus means so the example of prototromus is roho roho migrates within freshwater rivers okay 24th question is which fish performs vertical migration daily vertical migration daily and the correct option is lantern fish as they move up at night and down by day so what is uh, vertical migration vertical migration means to move vertically in the water body from bottom to top and top to bottom and mm -hmm. position. next question is hills of fish migrate for hills of fish migrate for breeding purpose as hills of migrate from sea to rivers during monsoon to span 26th question is which of the following statement about eel migration is true and the correct option is adults breed in sargasso sea and die adult eel span in sargasso sea die afterwards and young elivores return to rivers 27th question is fish leaders are built to do. fish leaders are built to do help fish migrate upstream over dams okay like salmon to bypass obstacles for like dams 28th question is migration of fish within a lake is called migration of fish within a lake is called limnodromus migration 29th question is the juvenile stage of eel is called it is called elver okay and the last question is which of the following aids migration restoration fishes options are on your screen and the correct option is all of these tagging satellite tracking telemetry and uh, our modern methods for studying fish migration routes this was the today's topic and we will bring one more topic uh, tonight from the same chapter thanks have a nice day